it held extensive consultations with the organizers of the protest and has reached an agreement that the said protest will begin at the Obra Sport at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle and terminate at the Independence Square. The road from the Independence Square in front of the National Lottery towards the old Parliament traffic lights will be blocked temporarily to vehicular traffic during the course of the demonstration. The block routes will be diverted through the Starlet traffic lights, through the Ministry's traffic lights, to pass in front of the Office of the Department of Urban Roads, through the National Lotteries, to link up with the AMA road to Iyoko, to take a detour back to the John Evans at Mills Highway at the old Parliament traffic intersection. Director of Public Affairs, Grace Akofi Siedu says, the Bank of Ghana headquarters remains a no-go area for the demonstration. The name of a protest does not necessarily determine the roots of the protest. And the service has engaged extensively with the demonstrators. And this is the route that both parties have agreed on. And these are the routes that are going to be used. So from the locations I mentioned, that is going to be the exact places that the demonstration will, where it will begin, where they will pass through, and where they will terminate. She has also assured that protesters, their rights will be respected and to show up and participate in this particular demonstration. We would also like to take this opportunity to urge the organizers and the demonstrators who will be coming to, out tomorrow to protest to ensure that they cooperate with the police and also abide by the security arrangements that have been agreed upon in accordance with the Public Order Act. And our assurance to the general public is that, as always, the Ghana Police Service remains committed to working with all of its relevant stakeholders to ensure that as a country, we deepen our democratic credential, and not just that, but we also ensure security, law, and order in the country. Boko Central MP Mahama Yaruga has meanwhile said notice that he will be petitioning the Office of Special Prosecutor asking that it investigates the Bank of Ghana governor and the two deputies about the construction of a headquarters for the Bank of Ghana for more than $200 million. To also urge our friends from the media present and those that will be showing up tomorrow to make an effort to come out with some form of identification to enable our officers to easily make you out as journalists. Joseph Akable, TV3 News, Police Headquarters.